So it's been a long time since I made a video on the Windows 11 Pro's update and here I am using the Windows 11 Beta and this particular build is the version 23H2 as you can see from the screen and the OS build version is 22631.2338. Now this is the latest build on the Beta version and here if I go into the Windows update and the Insider program here you will see it's on the Beta channel right now and this is what I have been using for months now but let me show you there is this new home button in the settings panel and right here you will find your PC's stuff like the cloud storage if you have something you can actually see that from right here with the OneDrive and there is the name of your PC and stuff like that then you can go straight into the install apps power options and the lock screen customizations and if you scroll down more we have the Bluetooth settings the like other Bluetooth devices and stuff you can see from right here and you can see the personalization option for the wallpapers and stuff then the color mode you can also change it to light or dark from here then we have 365 subscription kind of now there is a new clickable option when you click on this profile image on the settings you will go straight into the accounts kind of settings and in here also you can see all your info specifically to your microsoft account like your info sign in options and the other windows backup and stuff all these things now one new thing that i have seen on this like latest build is this dev home preview and this is specifically for the developers out there i'm not a developer so i don't have any idea about this but yeah you can straight connect to your github or something like that with this and you can see the extension right here and you can see this dev home github extension preview right here then in the machine configuration here you will see end-to-end -end setup clone repositories and all these other features are there with this and in the dashboard settings you can have some widgets and in here you can add these kind of things i have added a couple of things like the cpu gpu and the memory and in here you can see or notice your cpu gpu or ram usage just like the task manager or something like that also talking about the task manager this is how it looks like and here also you will see the cpu info the memory info all these things shows up over here now this latest feature i love over here is that with the notepad earlier whenever you typed anything like anything out there it will only like say a star over here whenever you want to close this window it would ask you to actually save the project or save the text but right now it saves automatically whatever you type so i just type this text as you can see there is no star over here so i don't have to save it separately and even if you close it whenever you open the notepad next time you will see all the things are as it is so this is a really great feature so something if you have to type quickly and just close it you can have all the texts right there saved automatically you don't have to do anything so this is a really handy feature for windows users now there are brand new features with the photos app let me show you how it works i have just taken two selfies and transferred it let me show you so this is one photo and this is another and if i go into the edit section i just resized this window to actually get all of these options with text and let me show you here you will get the crop the adjustment the filter markup and right now you are getting photoshop kind of features like retouch and background blur so that is just insane it's like competing with photoshop right now and it is even better than that because it's right here in the photos app so if you click on the background blur let me show you you have to just wait for the time being and the background will be blurred as you can see it shows success and here this is how the photo actually looks like and this is just insane in my opinion there is also the selection brush tool so if you want some space to not be blurred you can actually do that so this is insane and right now if i go into the retouch option here i have a cut mark on my forehead you can notice let me just reduce the brush size to like 26 as you can see my cut mark on the forehead is gone even this one let me just do that and as you can see right now my face has no cut marks so this is really insane that you can do all of these things in the photos app right here you don't have to go to anywhere else you can do that from right here and even the background blur if you want to save it you can save it as a copy after you do that background blur thing so this is again an insane feature in the photos app right here in my opinion the next new thing is the copilot and with this you get the bing's ai kind of chat and with that you can actually go with the more creative more balanced or more precise but for the time being i'll use more balanced and you can ask it anything like i have written over here that write a paragraph about gaming pcs and with that just notice how much info it gives about that and here you can get a detailed amount of information about pretty much anything whatever you can ask it takes about two or three seconds and after that it starts writing 
and it will give you uh, some of the links from where it's getting the info and it will also give you the examples from google like whatever you're searching for in here you can notice the gaming pcs that you can buy i guess and you can get even more info from directly with the website links the next question i asked it was when do you think aliens will arrive on earth and here it took some time and then it actually starts writing whatever info it can get from the web i guess you can also ask it to actually change the theme and stuff which i didn't show in here but yeah you can change the windows dark theme to light theme if you ask it over here so yeah this is the new copilot preview and it's just really amazing to have built-in ai in your windows 11 pc now the next thing i'll talk about is paint and yeah i know it's not that much interesting but yeah, let me show you how it's interesting well in here you will get the dark theme all over if you have dark theme enabled on your windows in paint also so i have imported this particular photo with the mi band 6 and just notice there is the new remove background feature and with that by just one clicking you can remove the picture's background and you can have the stuff which are in focus and just notice how good it has done it and i would say you can just delete the other parts which you don't need and with the new layers option you can actually add layers and add some objects in a particular layer and you can also save it to png jpg and bmp and stuff and if you save a png picture with this it will of course be saved with the removed background picture if you want a subject with the removed background so this is really helpful so remove background feature is really nice for paint at least in my opinion this is a really nice feature which is built in right now with microsoft paint and also you can save it with other formats if you want to and dragging and dropping right now actually works perfectly fine just like this as you can see i'm just dropping it with the browser and in here this particular picture in the browser if i want also with the new file explorer this is how it looks like and we get a new home section and you will get the like pictures documents extra options with this i think it was there earlier but the new thing is there is a new gallery option you can get all the photos in one location and you can browse through all your photos and with this you can get all your pictures kind of whatever is there in your pictures folder you will get everything right here with the dates on the right side so this is great and if you just click on one photo it will give you even the info of the photo on the right side so this is great and of course you can get the newer snipping tool by just pressing the windows shift and s key on your keyboard and then you can like just click on new or you can have this record normal photo or record videos option right here so you can do a screen recording for a particular part and if you go into the settings right now you get multiple different settings right here and i think there are even newer features with the microsoft clipchamp app and you can actually use it for making some videos or reels so this is gonna be coming really handy if you use them and of course there are a lot more hidden features out there with the windows 11 update and this is just right now insane and this update really makes a huge difference so if you're using multiple different apps and here you can actually switch those with this particular button and as you can see it shows up in this different tabs and you can also open the new desktop stuff right here and if you right click you can snap it on the left side right side and do all other things from right here so all of these options are, it is a really quick experience i would say and you can just like hit arrow key on your keyboard and you can just switch to whatever window you want or you can just press on windows tab to actually switch the windows it's even faster with gestures on laptops so yeah pretty much it is working perfectly fine so windows 11 the latest build right now has been working really good for me and i have showed you most of the features that i have actually experienced let me know down there in the comments what you guys think about the latest video with the windows 11 update and if you are enjoying it and if you are going to like actually try the windows 11 insider preview beta that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tv from kdn tech signing off for today i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now